Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this amazing and wonderful morning. What a privilege, what a time. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Lord God. We want to bless your name because of your presence and this time and opportunity you have given to us. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you're stretching forth your hand of power, your hand of authority and direction in the name of Jesus. I want to give you honor, praise, adoration, and glory. Have your way, Lord Jesus, and my Father, speak to us in a special way in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Good morning. I am encouraged this morning to speak out a subject I have titled, Accept and move on. Accept and move on. I want you to know, child of God, that there are things that you will not be able to do, even if you have planned and you have done everything you've got to do. There will be things that will get you off guard. There will be things that you will probably even sometimes make wrong decisions. You have to have the magnanimity to accept that that thing has not worked and then you move on to the next stage. Let's read the Bible in the book of Luke chapter number 22 and verse number 42. Bible says, Father, from the New International Version, Luke 22, 42. Father, if you're willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Talking about Jesus Christ, based on the, the path to go and face the crucifixion on the cross. It says, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. I want you to understand that there are things that can be burdening in our lives. There are things we plan, there are things we think about. There are things we think we are on top of things until we realize there is something we did not see or something we did not know. You should not die in your egoistic nature to keep on pursuing something you know will not work. You must accept sometimes that the, their people will get the better of you. You must accept that sometimes you'll make decisions that are not correct. You must quickly accept that that was a wrong decision and kick in the right decision and learn from the experience that you have gone through. You must understand, child of God, that it's imperative. It is important for you to think clearly and know that you cannot continue to push an agenda whose every sign shows that that agenda will not work. Many people have stuck on a long, wrong path, expecting that things along the line will change. But we must understand sometimes that we are human. We are, we are human and we can make mistakes. So you must understand that when things go wrong, quickly retrace your steps and focus on the right direction. You cannot continue to do that which is wrong on pretext that you made a decision you cannot overturn, you cannot change, or you cannot turn from. Accept. Child of God, accept. Know that sometimes you can also be duped. It's possible. Know that you can also make wrong choices, wrong decisions. You can have wrong plans. It is possible. You must understand how you quickly must identify the wrong that you did and come back and go on the right path. The Bible elsewhere asks us, go back, retrace your steps and find the right path. So it is possible you have gone a long way in the wrong direction. Quickly retrace, praise the name of the Lord. Quickly retrace, accept that yes, this was a wrong decision I made. This was something that was not supposed to have gone this way. Now, I purpose to change, accept that I was on the wrong path, change or refocus. I was talking to people, uh, uh, some people I was saying in church, and I was saying, uh, actually, as I spoke to people at work yesterday, and even uh, on the platform, I talked about, you know, adjusting your sales, positioning your sales, so you can, by virtue of the Spirit of God, you can be pushed into the right place, that God wants you to go. I'm talking about you retracing your steps. Don't 
continue in the egoistic tendencies of continuing on the wrong path because you say, I made this decision, I cannot change. No, purpose, decide, focus, and now come back to the correct direction and pursue the right direction. Let me put it this way. If you're going to a place, probably you're driving somewhere and you don't know the direction. It's only a fool when they do not know exactly where they are going. They don't stop aside and ask somebody, I want to go to this place, where's the direction? Today, we have got technology, we've got Google Maps or Waze. You can put in where you want to go and that particular application will show you the direction. And when you take a wrong path, the application will consistently tell you, turn, take a turn, take the next turn, turn back. You cannot continue in an egoistic way to move in a direction when the application is telling you, turn back. Accept. Praise the Lord. Accept. 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 And turn around and take the right direction. There are many people who are suffering today because they feel infallible. They feel they can never make mistakes. They have made mistakes even in marriage, even at the workplace, even in ministry, even in relationships. They have made wrong decisions, but they are unwilling to accept so they can bring the change and cause them to move in the new dimension. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want you to know, don't be headstrong. When you know or identify you've been doing the wrong thing, change, accept that you are wrong. Take responsibility. Accept that you are wrong. Turn around. Turn around, child of God. Turn around in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord help us all. Accept that what we did was wrong. Accept that we need to change our direction and move now in the focus and in the purpose of God. This is what I came to speak to us this morning. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we bless you. Thank you for teaching us that we should not continue in the wrong path. Even when we have made decisions that we won't want to turn, but we know that they were wrong decisions. Help us, Lord Jesus, to turn around in the name of Jesus. I thank you and I bless you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. This has been your host and your servant, Pastor Johnston Sacco, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription, your daily morning dose of the Word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shalom. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you.